What happened here? Huh, <sighs> bitten cookies, unfinished jelly candy. Guys, it seems to me someone was here who's very picky about sweets. I think I know who can solve this puzzling case. Sam! Oh, hi there. What's up, Sue? Our viewers and I want to ask you that. What kind of sweets eating storm rushed through our kitchen? Do you know? Oh, that's what it's about. And I thought it's something serious. Sam, since when did sweets stop being something so serious to you? Now tell me what happened. Uh, Sue, it was this morning. I was looking for my dream breakfast. Yeah. And it looks like you didn't find it. Oh! It's hard to have chocolate and candy for breakfast, even for me, the most loyal fan of sweets in the world. Why didn't you just make cereal with milk? I mean, you love them. But how am I gonna make it? It's too hard for a small slime like me. Well, what's so hard about it? You pour cereal and then add milk. <laughs> well, most probably I'd spill all the cereal and all the milk, too. Duh. Sue, you'd be even more upset. <sighs> okay, okay. We need to do something about your breakfast, though. Come, I have a great idea. By the way, guys, comment on this video and tell us, what do you like to have for breakfast? Wait for me! So we'll need a whole lot of cardboard and a bit of imagination. Huh. Sue, so, how can cardboard help me pour milk into cereal? We'll make a breakfast machine for you to feel like a true chef. <laughs> wow! For starters, I'll cut out eight equal trapezia. The sides of each figure are 7, 20, and 17 centimeters. Now let's put it together, shaping them like funnels. Wow, these structures are huge! Wow, one could fit a whole box of Nesquik in here. As for the cereals, we'll get to them later. And now these sticks will come in handy. Listen, Sue, maybe we should take smaller sticks. I don't mean to upset you, Sam, but skewers won't help us here. Well, then maybe we could have a skewer fight at least like true Spencer. If we fight, we won't have a breakfast machine. There's still a lot of work to do. Okay, then you persuaded me. We've already made holes in each cap. Be careful when cutting. Or better ask an adult to help you with it. A hole diameter should match the sticks. Let's fasten two caps on each stick of ours, roughly this much apart. Wow, Sue, these sticks look like musical instruments. What instruments? Maracas! Oh, a do 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 Let's get back to our cardboard. Look, I've already cut out these parts. We need to secure them on top of our structures. On one side. And on the other side. Oh, you need help. Nah, only if with more music. Now between our walls, we'll secure a bigger piece of cardboard. <laughs> it's more fun to glue cardboard when singing a song. We'll carefully glue our sticks over here. There shouldn't be too much glue. So what have we got here, Sue? Look, our structure works just great. Wow, cool! Now Sam's skewers will come in handy. I told you, I told you! We need to glue the skewers of two different sizes here. We'll put smaller skewers here, and we'll glue longer skewers here. It all has to be secured really well, or else the machine won't work. Let's secure our skewers together with rubber bands. One and two. Two, but the lid won't open then. Don't you worry, it's all working like it's supposed to. Compartments for cereals are ready. Now let's get to the milk dispenser. We'll need a cap like this with two holes in it. Oh, I can use this cap as glasses. <laughs> Sam! And tubes like these. Why do we need these tubes? How will they help us, Sue? You'll use these tubes as straws for your milk. Then you won't spill anything. But then it's not interesting, Sue. <laughs> I'm kidding. We should stick these tubes in the holes in our cap. Like this. Oh, Sue, I don't get it. What are we making here? We'll sort it all out in a moment. Don't panic. And now let's secure our tubes to a pump like this. So, can't we simply pour milk from a bottle? <laughs> when you simply pour milk from a bottle, we have white puddles all over the kitchen. And now we'll be able to make breakfast neatly. And milk will get straight into the glass. Okay, okay, you convinced me. 
too. Are you sure we need so much cardboard? Sure, because we're about to start putting together the base for our breakfast machine. We'll need four walls that will glue together. <laughs> so, we could have just taken a big box and cut out everything extra. No, Sammy, it's all calculated here, centimeter by centimeter. Oh, look at us doing it all right. Now we need to make holes in our base walls. Let's secure our compartments for breakfast cereals here. Wow, we can put breakfast into our machine already? Of course not, I haven't secured anything yet. Better help me, bring the cardboard I've prepared. Whoa! Oh, Sue, I've got it right here. Well done. So, half of the machine is ready now. Oh, only half? Well, almost. It's the most important part that's left. Speaking of which, Sam, we wanted to have a little poll with the guys. Right! Guys, comment what kind of breakfast you like most. Nesquik or Cosmo Stars. Or maybe you have a different answer. Well, shall we make our breakfast machine even prettier? Let's see, we've made a button here. Uh, what else? Let me deal with the handles. In the meantime, you print pictures. Here are the parts I've prepared. We'll secure them now. Let's glue this lever here. It will make it really easy to pour a bowl full of cereal. Now let's secure our milk dispenser. Done! Now we only need to cover our machine with this lid. Are you going to be long there, Sam? Phew! I was looking for the prettiest pictures. Hmm, I think I know what kind of cereals you're going to put in here. Well, sure! I had this poll for the viewers for a reason. Hey, Sue, hurry up and pour our cereals in! Wow, a whole Cosmo Stars pack will fit in here. Cool! Now I'll have breakfast three times a day. Well, Sam, let's test our new machine. Woohoo! It's so super convenient! And most importantly, nothing gets spilled. Here you go, Sammy. And I think I'll indulge in Cosmo Stars. Guys, do you like our breakfast machine? Mmm, it tastes so good! If you do, then give this video a thumbs up, guys! And send us your ideas. Bye now, we're off!